Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on DMAPS TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming in for the first time. If you are regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that others may just see what we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, in another episode of Catch and Release, we see that Hubert Angel has been cleared of all wrongdoings by the Arabizit Financial Intelligence Unit. Yes, we learn that he has been cleared and all his accounts have been unfrozen and also those of other uh, kingpins that we mentioned in the Al Jazeera documentary they have been cleared of all charges and they have been let go their accounts are unfrozen this then this got us thinking do they did they really use those accounts to do the money laundering because the Arab is saying from what they investigated they realized that the accounts do not share, do not show any wrongdoing the accounts do not show that they were being used for money laundering or for such activities but we also learned that all those deals that happened all those deals that were mentioned in the documentary were cash deals the 1.4 billion or so was cash the, the bags of money that left the country through the airport were also cash all that was in cash so why would you in, start by investigating accounts that you know that they were not being used are you sincere or you maybe they just consider that um, uh, Zimbabweans we will be we will fall for that and we just say something is done but I think uh, they were not sincere enough in their investigations because we know that every deal that was mentioned in Al Jazeera was done by case so there wouldn't be any 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 form of a uh, trail that can be found in those accounts and also if you move those large amounts of money probably they are international accounts just like the mastercard probably they are using a mastercard account to clear or go to clean all those monies but obviously you wouldn't use a bank account so what this entails is that they just wanted to see me as if something is happening yet nothing is really happening on the ground so this is the letter that was uh, sent by the arab visit financial intelligence use i will just read through it so that you also know what transpired and how they come to that conclusion of unfreezing or the bank accounts of all these concerned uh, gold smugglers update on the actions taken by the financial intelligence unit in response to the al jazeera gold mafia documentary series of course yes i'm coming to see that it was just an update on the actions taken specifically by the financial intelligence unit and they said Following the broadcast of Al Jazeera's documentary series titled The Gold Mafia, the Financial Intelligence Unit, the FIU, issued a directive on 31 March 2023 directing financial institutions to identify, freeze and report bank accounts and other financial assets owned and or controlled by individuals who were alleged to have played key roles in alleged acts of money laundering and other financial crimes. The FIU exercised its temporary freezing powers to ensure that any illicit proceeds connected to the allegations in the documentary would not be dissipated or disposed of by the persons concerned and prejudice potential future investigations. The FIU, working in close collaboration with law enforcement agencies, has since concluded its analysis of the four episodes of the Al Jazeera documentary and has also analyzed the financial assets and transactions of the persons implicated in the documentary and has determined that there is no good cause for the freezing order to remain in place. The FIU has not identified transactions or assets linked to money laundering and related financial crime connected to the allegations in the Al Jazeera documentary. In view of the above, the FIU has directed financial institutions to unfreeze all the accounts and other financial assets that had been frozen pursuant to the directive of 31 March 2023. The unfreezing action is without prejudice to any further investigations that law enforcement agencies may wish to commence or continue against any of the persons involved. Some of the allegations in the documentary relate to money laundering and financial crimes alleged to have taken place outside Zimbabwe's borders. The FIU if so requested to change ready and is indeed mandated to cooperate with any international investigations against any of the persons or entities mentioned in the documentary. 
So the question is, is there anyone that even happens at the FIU? Let's talk, of course, the money laundering saga and think of their own mandate. Are they in any way fulfilling the mandate that they were created for? Are they, if they ever attained anything, any investigation, if they ever achieved anything? So it just boggles the mind to see such an institution that is not working just like the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission.